See, most people don't even realize their life is like a corroded battery riddled with sin. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom, for this magnificent day that the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice. We're going to educate and teach. See, when you live a sinful life, a trifling life like I once did because I wasn't studied on the word of God, I wasn't born again, I wasn't filled with the spirit, you don't even realize how much damage sin is causing in your life. And the reason I said sin is like a having a corroded battery because eventually that battery will fail. Everything that's inside of that battery is solely being released and corroding away. So when we talk about what is battery corrosion, let's look at this. Battery corrosion shows up as a white, green, or blue tinge substance on your car's post terminal or cables. Battery acid releases hydrogen gases that reacts with the air and forms a corrosive environment. This environment allows the battery to corrode. Let's look at the definition of corrosion. The process of corroding metal, stone, or other materials. Damage caused by corrosion. But when we think about that, that's simply sin in our life. If we live a life unrepented uh, and, and being unborn again and being not filled with the spirit. Think about that. You didn't live this whole life and your life has been riddled with trials, tribulation, affliction, affliction and consequences for the sin. And not once have you repented for it. You know, when a lot of these people are living this sinful life and they get, you know, in their 30s and 40s, whether they're battling drugs, they're taken out by something, taken out by something. You know, something is slowly eating away at them. And this is by way of sin. So I want to read to you Romans chapter six, verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. When we think about that, you know, everybody is guilty of sin. Romans chapter three, verse 23 says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But just because you fell short of the glory of God don't mean that you can't get right with God. You're never going to be perfect, but you can seek a life of righteousness. When you're not seeking a life of righteousness, when you don't know what sin is being the transgression of the law, when you don't know what living righteous, living set apart is, chances are sin is corroding away at your life. It's corroding away at your job. It's corroding away with your family. It's corroding away with your kids. It's corroding away with your marriage. And it's corroding away with your mental health. And you don't even know it. You see what I'm saying? Corroding means slowly dying, slowly being ate up. And when you think about scripture saying the devil is seeking somebody to devour, the sin is how he's doing it by keeping you, keeping you in bondage of sin. The most high y'all wants to deliver you out of it, but you got to be willing to say, Hey, you know, I, I, I lived a pretty jacked up life. I need some help. I need to be delivered out of it. And the only way I'm going to be delivered out of it is not these self-help books, but going to the most high y'all going to Yahshua Hamashiach, the one that's got some real healing power. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, you have to have the renewal, the restoration of your mind. Chances are you may be going to church 52 times a year on Sunday, but sin is eating up your life. Sin is eating up your life. You're not gaining any power. You're not gaining any progress. You're not gaining any traction because you're corroding away. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting a gun barrel straight. Bow.